Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another mod review. Today we are taking a look at two mods that will be added with the content pack. One is called Timber and the other is Custom Mob Spawn Control. Both of which are some rather interesting mods that make the world of Minecraft a lot easier to play in. So, first off we're going to look at Timber and yes I'm in my survival LP but we are going to ignore that for a moment. We're going to grab an axe and I'm going to go into the forest here. Now, the mod Timber, what it does is it adds, well, it doesn't actually add anything. It allows you to chop down an entire tree by just chopping down the bottom block. So I'm going to go into the jungle here and find an innocent tree to hack down. If I can get up here. How about this one? So... If you hit the bottom block, this whole tree shall fall. Ta-da! So it makes it a lot easier to collect large amounts of wood, especially since I tend to go on wood searching expeditions quite often. So we got ten, and then obviously you can put it in your crafting thing, and so on and so forth. And it makes it really easy for the large jungle trees that have uh, four that have a diameter of four. There we go, so we got lots of wood now. However, I was using this timber mod with uh, extra biomes and so on, and it doesn't seem to work with new trees. It only works on trees that are vanilla wood. So I can go over to my tree farm to show you guys, but it probably won't work with with any of the uh, extra biomes trees that we have planted in our tree farm. Whoa! Okay, I'm actually going to jump into uh, peaceful mode here for a second. Get rid of that enderman. Yeah, see it doesn't work with the Ikea trees. Whoops. So. Oops. Now if I can just build this tree back. There we go. So it might work on the autumn trees because it is actually pine wood that is underneath them, but it probably won't work for any of the other trees. So let's continue on. So the reason I'm using my survival LP map for this is so when I do the custom mob spawn control thing here, it will actually transfer over to this map. So if you have custom mob control installed and it goes right into your minecraft jar and I will show you guys how to do that in a second hit F6 on your keyboard and you get mob spawn control this whole thing there's master controls master controls off reset to default spawn cap save biome control so spawn cap monsters ambient water and regular creatures so I actually want to put my monsters down to 35 Raise my creatures up to 30. Water creatures can stay like that. And we'll knock ambience down to 10. Put that to 35 as well. So there we go. And then you want to hit save. You always, Whenever you make changes, you want to hit that save button. And then click biome control. So I have a whole pile of biomes here. And if I actually use my scrolly thing on my mouse, it goes down even more. So they're all listed in alphabetical order starting over here and going this way. So, Arctic, Alps, etc., Biome Oasis, Mangrove, so I have extra biomes installed, Biomes O'Plenty, and a Highlands mod, which hasn't yet been reviewed, which I will get to. So, 
Obviously, there's a lot of biomes to go and configure, but I'm only going to configure a few of them right now, and then the rest I'm going to do off cam so it's ready when I start back with the survival LPs. So, you just click on any particular one. So, I'm going to start with the bayou. So, obviously, monsters I never really fiddle with unless I want to add an owl or the firefly, but I think, yeah, we'll put fireflies in the bayou. So, you hit. You hit the the animal, and it'll say disabled if it's not turned on. You want to hit that, so it's enabled, it's green. And then min number in group, max number in group. So by default, it's going to spawn with four of them in a group. But I'm just going to, I'm going to leave that as four, and then I'm going to put this up at eight. Just so you can have a larger group. Save changes, and then back. And then you can hit back and go to the rest of the animals. So creatures. I'm actually going to disable... I'm going to disable some of the vanilla animals here. I'll leave the pig, but in all sense, the other two aren't really in a bayou. I'm going to add a butterfly. I'm going to add a crab. Let's see. Mantis. No, we don't really need that. Frogs, for sure. Dragonfly, and it comes up saying what mob or what mod the animals are with. So this one is Atmos Mobs, and all the uh, mo creatures animals are at the bottom of the list. Don't worry about any of these if you download the content pack. Don't worry about any of these that say NPC. You don't want to worry about any of those. You just want a default NPC. So don't worry about that, and don't worry about Scarecrow either. So, what else do I want in this um, crocodile? I'm actually going to change the spawn numbers for that. Uh, let's see here. Put a starfish. We can put the chameleon. And a duck. And the boar, wherever the boar went. There we go. And that's probably good. Okay, so then you go back. And then water creatures. So you can do that. Want my turtle. Actually, turtle's probably here. Turtle? Turtle, there we go. Okay, so turtle. Then for water creatures, I want starfish in the bayou. Um, fish in the bayou. And I'll put jellyfish in there as well. So then you go back. Oops. And ambience is simply the bat, so if you want the bat turned on or off. Go back, save, go back into biome control, and you can continue on with whichever biome you want to work with. So I'm actually going to go to the meadow or some kind of plains and configure that one. So we have pasture, plains, prairie are all kind of uh, plainy type. Outback is more of an Australian plain. Uh, meadow is another plains one that you can configure. And I think... Oh, they have ice plains and grassland as well, which you can configure, but I'm going to go straight for prairie, just as an example. Go to creatures, which I'm going to go back. I'm going to turn on owl. So you have to, if you want the owl, you have to turn it on in the monsters category for it to spawn at night. And then you also have to turn it on in the creatures. So there, I have owl. And then I'm going to turn on bison, because it's prairie, bison, mo creature horse, and simply horses. If you have simply horses installed as well, it will come up as Arabian, Clydesdale, Foal, Mustang. If you want the herd, you have to turn on wild horse. So there, min and group 4, and I'm actually going to change this to 10. So that way we can have large herds spawning. 
And then, I guess, the rest of the kind of stuff that spawns in prairies. We have foxes. We have deer. We have mice. And you have to have field mouse turned on as well if you want the owls, because owls eat the field mice. And... I guess I shall put in... We need some kind of... We can put in bunny. Bunny and rabbit. I can't find the rabbit. Oh, there it is. And there isn't really that many birds in the prairie besides owls and eagles, so I'm going to leave that turned off. And that's probably good for... Oh, we might as well put in snakes as well. Alright, so that's pretty much... Oh, and why not a mole? I keep saying that's pretty much it, but then I add more stuff. And then bats, there's obviously not going to be much water in the prairie, so there, back, and save. So that is how you work mob spawn control. Now obviously if you have a lot of these biomes, like I do, it is going to take a very long time to configure, and you have to configure it for each map individually. For some odd reason, it doesn't carry over your specifications, so if you make a new map and you want the same, same configuration, you might have to go and do it all over again. I'm going to try and do a little bit of research on it and see if I can't maybe configure it so that way it carries on the same configuration each time, but I will get back to you guys on that one. So, this has been another mod review. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next week.